Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Cross video and the very last weapon demo. This time we're taking a look at the Heavy Bowgun. If you guys do enjoy this video then it'd be super awesome if you could hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Now let's start off by taking a look at the full demo and then we'll talk about it afterwards. So right from the very beginning, the weapon demo obviously begins by introducing the Heavy Bogon, explaining that the main appeal for this weapon is that it has extremely strong firepower, it deals a lot of damage, but obviously it is also quite slow. Both the armor set and the weapon here look pretty damn cool, I wasn't sure whether they were kind of bullfango parts or whether it's like a completely new monster again, but I do really like the horns on both the actual armor itself and also the Heavy Bogon. Now moving over to guild style, so again this is monster hunting 101, this is monster hunting as you have always come to know and love it, traditional hunting if you don't want to use any of the fancy new mechanics then this is for you, however there is a new thing in place. I also mentioned this in the light bowgun thing, this is something that applies to both types of bowguns. The heavy bowgun also has this inbuilt shot, it's basically a shot that comes with the weapon, it appears you don't buy ammo for it, it just kind of comes pre-built with it, so now when you pick your bowgun, whereas normally you would pick it based on say like the types of shots it can use, You'll also be picking it now based on the internal shot it has as well. Also on top of that there's an additional special shot you can see in this demo. Basically the inbuilt shots are the ones with the blue background and normally the ones with the green background are the kind of seed shots, the ones where you have to kind of sit down, you can't move but you can fire them out to do some massive damage. There is however one shot which is a blend between both green and blue so it seems like it's an inbuilt seed shot so that's going to be pretty damn powerful. We don't know too much about them yet but I imagine they'll be pretty cool and they'll also kind of like match up with say like the weapon itself or like the monster you know so they might be like elemental or they could be like particularly powerful. Either way we'll find out more soon but that is something worth noting. Then moving on to aerial style I'm sure you guys know exactly what this is by now if you've seen all the other weapon demos then it's basically the same every time. You roll towards the monster, you touch it, it launches you in the air and then from there you can then launch some attacks over its back. This is obviously a place you wouldn't normally be able to reach unless you knocked it over. The one thing that is worth calling out, and it's actually something I made a little bit of a mistake in the light bowgun video the other day, but you can actually mount a monster with a bowgun, both light and heavy, simply by shooting it on the back. You don't actually need to use the melee attack, you can use it, but you don't need to use it. So you can just sort of jump down its back, and if it's again at the right threshold, then that can result in a mount. And then finally you have the hunting skill. This is called the supernova. It doesn't really need much explanation, you fire out this massive supernova, it expands and it does some hefty damage and obviously it also has a very wide range of attack. If you also pay attention to the very beginning part where they actually show you the supernova, you'll also see that it's able to knock down that kind of destructible part of the level. So I imagine the areas where normally only the monsters would be able to break them, now if you use the supernova, you can too. So that kind of goes lengths to sort of illustrate quite how powerful it is, but this is going to add some incredible firepower to an already powerful weapon. And that, my friends, brings me to the end of this video and also the end of the weapon demos. Obviously, do bear in mind right now, all these weapon demos have only shown the guild style, the aerial style, and one of the hunting skills. Bear in mind there is also Bushido style, striker style, and a whole range of other hunting skills. So as and when Capcom do start showing those to us, I will of course have coverage for you guys on those ones as well, but for the time being, that is it. If you missed any of the weapon demos so far, then I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description box down below, and you can catch up on all the Monster Hunter Cross stuff. But aside from that, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which of the weapons you are most excited to be using. And thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.